Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for you for the eclipse. You know, the equi eclipse energy. You know, we, we we're going through some eclipses here, right? So um, we, I just want to see what's going to come up. We're, we're, this is just a message from my guides. You know, my guides. What message do you have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these, one of these, one of these. And we're going to use this deck right here. So let's go. What do we have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. What do we have for the sign of Aquarius for this eclipse? What can they expect? What's this eclipse going to do for them? What's it going to do? What's the, what's the main focus for Aquarius? Appreciation. So somebody may see, you know, who you are. They may appreciate you. You may get some appreciation or you may find some sort of appreciation for others. Okay. So... This is beautiful. It really is. Somebody is appreciating you for the person that you are. You are probably going to be appreciated for all your hard work. Hopefully that's the case, huh? Your kindness, perhaps? Maybe maybe you're finally going to be appreciated. Maybe. Maybe by a woman. Um... You, if you are the male watching this, you may have this newfound appreciation for the woman in your life. Could be your mother, could be your children's mother, could be your girlfriend, your wife, whatever. But we have some appreciation here. And it's, it's it must be it's a newfound appreciation or a renewed appreciation. Could be for love. I mean, she's holding a rose. A rose is a symbol of love. Cause there, so there could be a new found appreciation for love, what love is and what matters. So what else do we have for Aquarius? Ooh, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So that's nice. You got some real feelings here and somebody, somebody is appreciating you, put it that way. Or you're appreciating another person. Real feelings of love. We got a real romance here. It looks looks good so far. What else do we have for Aquarius? Real love, perhaps. Finally. What do we have for Aquarius? Oh, well, pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the signs. We're going to read that one. See what it has to say. Pay attention to the signs. Signs are all around you. Open your mind and pay closer attention to your environment. Your angels know that you have been feeling lost about the direction you need to take in your life and the decisions you need to make. They have heard your frustrations and your pleas for help. They ask you to slow down, stop focusing on the problem, and allow a solution to come into your reality. Your spiritual helpers have been organizing synchronistic events and that support and support for you, but you keep thinking in the same stubborn way. Relax and look at life in a more creative way. It's funny because I just did a daily vibe for today, the 13th, and I tell you guys, I tell everybody to slow down. It's kind of interesting. Pay attention to repetitive signs and signals. A sign can come in the form of a song, a movie, a book, nature, animals, people, thoughts, dreams, visions, etc. At times, your body also gives you signs. Your body may be telling you to rest, change your diet, or work on challenging emotions, be sure to take these signals seriously. So, and that makes sense. 
I think that your feelings, you know, you're, it's your gut talking to you. Your gut is talking to you. You deserve to be appreciated. That's what this is. You deserve to be appreciated whether you are male or female. Interesting. It's about being appreciated. Everybody deserves it. And I think that you're receiving messages that you might be ignoring. Now look at that owl just barely pointed right out at me. This is major change. Owl is a symbol of death and rebirth. It really is change. The highest intuitive wisdom. Now you have that intuitive wisdom, but you have to listen to it. Pay attention. Pay attention. Do you love yourself? Do you love yourself? I mean, that's the question. Anyway, let's get started here. Well, I think we just did, didn't we? But let's keep going. Aquarius, your feelings are real. It's real. I think you probably have romantic feelings for somebody and, you know, you have to do what's right for you and you, you may, somebody may unfortunately get left out in the process. So, um, hmm. And I think that you've been praying and praying and praying. Maybe you're hoping for your current circumstances to change or something to change. But uh, as I just read, you know, I don't think it's going to happen. You're stuck. You are. You're in a state of suspension. You're sacrificing yourself needlessly. And you're resisting change. I mean, that's what this is. It's like you want to resist change, but you must struggle through it. You must. You must. It's time to let go of whatever this is that is keeping you in a state of sacrifice. Ten of Swords. Now, this is an ending. It is the Ten of Swords. This is, this is the end. It's the end of suffering. Defeat. Loss. Prince of Wands. This is an, You have an exciting opportunity. You probably have a new suitor. You probably have somebody that excites you. You probably have a new exciting path right in front of you. Maybe you have you've been um, receiving messages, or and or you've received an invitation from somebody that excites you. But there's something in the way. This is good news. This is this is uh, an exciting opportunity with somebody that really makes you feel good. Maybe they appreciate you. Maybe they see your beauty. I don't know. Six of Swords, reluctant to move on. Reluctant to transition. Staying in a troubled space. Nine of Wands, reverse. Avoiding challenge. Not wanting to focus. Scared to start over. Somebody is scared. Scared to lose money, maybe. Maybe scared to lose assets. You know, you could be, you know... Looking someplace else because you're not happy where you're at, but you're afraid to break free. Three of Swords, painful. It is painful. Suffering. We got somebody here that is suffering. Suffering because they won't move on. When they have this other opportunity, it's like you know you've got another opportunity. And, and you're, just, you're just holding on to the pain. Holding on to it. Hiding it. Hiding your true feelings. Right? I mean, that's what this is. Somebody's hiding their true feelings, whether it's you or the other person. You could be dealing with another person that's doing this as well. It can go vice versa. This is the moon card. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could you could have a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius somewhere in this mix, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have Pisces a couple times. Some of you, you know, may be dealing with somebody that has quite a bit of Pisces in their chart, or it's a Pisces that, you know, they're holding you back. They're holding you back. It's like there's there's this nine of wands, avoiding challenge, great personal fear, distrustful, overwhelmed. This this is an overwhelming situation that is really it's hurting you. Look at the stab right in the heart. It's it's causing you heartache. It's causing causing you uh, heartburn. You know, it's like this isn't heartburn. This isn't. Uh, it's like you don't want to do this anymore. It's like you're not even interested in it. The Page of Pentacles reversed. It says princess, but it's really the page. There's no interest. It's like you're not even interested in it anymore. But you're still holding on to it because you don't want to deal with the pain, right? You don't want to deal with any more pain, you know? Maybe you're afraid of this person. You're afraid of, you know, what this, what this person will do. What does it matter what their sign is? I think you probably have an opportunity for love here. And I think that you're afraid to take it. 
I feel Four of Swords. This is exhaustion, isolation, health issues, frustrated. There's big frustrations here over, you know, hiding the truth, hiding, hiding, you know, your love away. You know, it's like hiding your heart, not honoring your heart. I feel like you want a relationship, you want a new relationship, you're wanting romance, you're wanting to be romanced, you're wanting to be cherished, and you're probably in a situation where it's not happening, and it's not happening because you're not listening, you're not listening, like that book said, you're just not listening, you're avoiding the challenge, you're avoiding the struggle, so I feel like this period of time, you know, you are being called to really think about this. Really, really, really pay attention. Pay attention to your needs. Um, maybe you just need to take a break from this person. Take a break and see. And that means like take a break. You know, reluctant to move. You're, maybe you need to move and you're reluctant to move. Maybe there's assets there. I feel as though you're afraid of what relationships you will lose. Maybe you're afraid that, you know, you won't get support from your friends. You won't get support from your family. You won't get support from your neighbors. You won't get for, you won't get support. You'll lose relationships if you go your own way, if you go at, go your own path. You guys are in a partnership that it's not, it's not compatible. It's not, it's not love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I think that you're going to be presented with the opportunity to go in a different direction to go after your passion you know you may you may even receive help you may receive somebody who says you know i'll help you i'll help you break free um you probably are deepening a bond with somebody else you probably have a deep bond with somebody else nine of cups reversed three of wands maybe you didn't expect it you didn't see it coming but all of a sudden it just showed up in your life you know, if it hasn't, it may. It may. If it hasn't shown up yet and you are completely single, I, mean, I don't know, you don't even have to be single because it feels like something is arriving and it's going to lead to wish fulfillment. It's going to lead to a deep connection if it hasn't arrived already. There is a deep connection here and it's not with the person that you are tied to, okay? I think that you, you probably have to make a choice you probably have to um, let go of one relationship so that you can be happy, you know, so that you can have what you really, really, truly want deep down. I think that you have these desires that need to be met, and I feel like you have been getting prepared to face this challenge, but you're not quite prepared to. I think you're getting prepared, but you're scared to. You are really scared to. I think you may be receiving messages from somebody or you may be communicating with somebody. Could be online, you know, could be text messages, whatever. I think there's a lot of communication going back and forth. I think you have the opportunity to move forward at this time into a uh, something really that could really, really make you extremely happy but you are going to have to end something with this ten of swords you have to you have to end a painful situation that you are stuck in so i feel like during this time you know you're stuck but over here you're in, around the corner you're still not moving on you're still not moving on you're refusing like the book said you go back to what i read you're refusing to let go of that relationship that you have hung on to for so long and i think it's because of other people what's everybody else going to say I feel like you're being unrealistic. This is unrealistic, dissatisfied. There's a lot of dissatisfaction here. There's no more growth here. And you're reluctant to change. You're reluctant to choose. You don't want to make the choice. If somebody could make this choice for you, that'd be great. Um, it's like you've been trying to adapt. You've been, you've been trying to avoid change. Um, things have been going downhill. Um, you're not feeling loved. You're not feeling loved. And I think that you're craving it. You are definitely craving it. I think you're craving something more exciting. You're craving something more passionate. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who's literally unavailable. This person doesn't show you emotional anything. It's like they, they don't. So you may be, you know, communicating with somebody else who is so passionate. Or somebody may be starting to communicate with you. Maybe you receive a message out of the blue or this has already happened and you know, the sparks start to fly. Um, I feel like there's probably some children here that you are worried about. You're probably worried about what the children will say, what the family will say. You're probably afraid to bite off more than you can chew. 
helped you and I feel like right now you're really discontent and you're wanting more out of a relationship and I feel like you have an opportunity here that's looking right at you somebody that is very well suited for you somebody that is excited somebody that is passionate somebody you know that could really strike your fancy in more ways than one Ooh. Yikes. So I feel like you're you're thinking very negative about it. You're not taking the offer. You're um really worried about the children. There's some of you that got children. Um you're worried about what the children are gonna say, what the children are gonna do. Um Yeah, motherhood duties because you're you know, you you know, has to do with being a mother. For some of you. <sighs> you could be dealing with somebody who's not a very good mother. This could go vice versa. You could be dealing with a person who's talking to other people and you know it. You could be dealing with a person who's smothering. She's selfish. This person is going in a different route now. I feel as though there's there's definitely no growth here. There's no growth at all. It's like, and I think that we have somebody that is staying maybe for fear of what everybody else will think, you know. That's exactly what this is. Definitely children, maybe four children, three or four children um, involved. Could be two. Could be two children, three children, four children. Um, but if, if really afraid of gossip. What's everybody going to say? But I think that you're really, really curious and you really want to go in another direction. There probably will be some gossip this, during this period of time. Um, there could be a conflict that's coming up that gives you the opportunity to break free from this situation. Okay. You are going to be presented with an opportunity to take back control of your life, to take your power back, to fight for what you want and to go in another direction. The choice is yours. So you really need to appreciate yourself, appreciate love. You only live once. Don't waste your life in an unrequited situation, unrequited love situation because, you know, your feelings are real and you deserve it. You you deserve it, okay? You could be dealing with a Capricorn. I don't know. But it feels as though, you know, you're going to be presented with the opportunity to cut that cord, to break free, to move on. Good luck.